Farhan's 80 answers a question from the press after Giants CEO Larry Bear introduced him as the new president of baseball operations during a press conference at it. Les Farhan's 80 answers a question from the press after Giants CEO Larry Bear introduced him as the new president of baseball operations during a press conference at it. More photo, Carlos Avila Gonzalez, the Chronicle Madison Bumgarner. The Giants defeated the Mets 3-1. Les Madison Bumgarner. The Giants defeated. More photo, Jim McIsaac, Getty Images Farhan's 80 answers a question from the press after Giants CEO Larry Bear introduced him as the new president of baseball operations during a press conference at it. Les Farhan's 80 answers a question from the press after Giants CEO Larry Bear introduced him as the new president of baseball operations during a press conference at it. More photo, Carlos Avila Gonzalez, the Chronicle San Francisco Giants starting pitcher Madison Bumgarner, 40, warms up before a baseball game against the Colorado Rockies in San Francisco, Saturday, Sept. 15, 2018. San Francisco Giants starting pitcher Madison Bumgarner, 40, warms up before a baseball game against the Colorado Rockies in San Francisco, Saturday, September 15, 2018. Photo, Scott Tucker, Associated Press Window, underscore Tabula equals window, underscore Tabula, underscore Tabula, push mode, thumbnail C, container, Tabula interstitial gallery thumbnails 5, placement, interstitial gallery thumbnails 5, target underscore type, mix, underscore Tabula, push flush, true, editor's note, image was created using multiple exposures in camera, Madison Bumgarner. Less editor's note, image was created using multiple exposures in camera, Madison Bumgarner. More photo, Jennifer Stewart, Getty Images Farhan's 80 walks toward the press conference room with Giants CEO Larry Bear before Bear introduced him as the new president of baseball operations during a press conference at it. Less Farhan's 80 walks toward the press conference room with Giants CEO Larry Bear before Bear introduced him as the new president of baseball operations during a press conference at it. More photo, Carlos Avila Gonzalez, the Chronicle Giants CEO Larry Bear answers a question from the press after he introduced Farhan Zaidi as the new president of baseball operations during a press conference at it. Less Giants CEO Larry Bear answers a question from the press after he introduced Farhan Zaidi as the new president of baseball operations during a press conference at it. More photo, Carlos Avila Gonzalez, the Chronicle, GM Farhan's 80 helped the Dodgers to four of their six consecutive National League West titles. GM Farhan's 80 helped the Dodgers to four of their six consecutive National League West titles. Photo, Damian DeVarganis, Associated Press Window, underscore Tabula equals window, underscore Tabula, underscore Tabula, push mode, thumbnail C, container, Tabula interstitial gallery thumbnails 10, placement, interstitial gallery thumbnails 10, target underscore type, mix, underscore Tabula, push flush, true, Madison Bumgarner. Louis Cardinals at Bush Stadium on May 19, 2017 in St. Louis, Missouri. Madison Bumgarner. Louis Cardinals at Bush Stadium on May 19, 2017 in St. Louis, Missouri. Photo, Michael Thomas, Getty Images Brian Sabian, the Giants Vice President of Baseball Operations, listens as Giants CEO Larry Bear introduced new President of Baseball Operations Farhan Zaidi during a press conference at it. Les Brian Sabian, the Giants Vice President of Baseball Operations, listens as Giants CEO Larry Bear introduced new President of Baseball Operations Farhan Zaidi during a press conference at it. More photo, Carlos Avila Gonzalez, the Chronicle Window, underscore Tabula equals window, underscore Tabula, underscore Tabula, push mode, thumbnail C, container, Tabula interstitial gallery thumbnails 13, placement, interstitial gallery thumbnails 13, target underscore type, mix, underscore Tabula, push flush, true, photo, Carlos Avila Gonzalez, the Chronicle Farhan's 80. Answers a question from the press after Giants CEO Larry Bear introduced him as the new president of baseball operations during a press conference at it. 
Les Faranzetti answers a question from the press after Giants CEO Larry Bear introduced him as the new president of baseball operations during a press conference edit. More photo, Carlos Avila Gonzalez, the Chronicle Giants' new baseball chief Zadie Talks Bumgarner, rebuild, working with Bocce Giants CEO Larry Bear first met Farron Zadie on Friday. They reconvened on Sunday and Monday, when Bear offered the Dodgers' general manager the chance to lead San Francisco's front office for at least the next five years. On Tuesday, Zadie accepted. On Wednesday, the Giants introduced him at a press conference at it. If only the Giants anticipated rise from two straight losing seasons to another World Series could move that fast. It surely won't, but Zadie made it clear he wants to see late October baseball in San Francisco again as quickly as possible. I've kind of had a front row seat for the Giants the last 14 years, being in the division the last four years and being across the bay the last 10, Zadie said, seeing three Giants parades on the local news and having my friends complain about how it was messing up their morning commutes. It's my goal. I hope we're messing up people's commutes very soon, Bear opened the press conference by thanking Brian Sabian for being a huge part of the Giants' success the past 26 years, before introducing Zadie amid the hope that the new president of baseball operations is around for the next 26 years. As one would expect, since Zadie was hired less than 24 hours earlier, his views on the future of the club were short on specifics but on some of the key questions, Zadie said. He understands what a special pitcher Madison Bumgarner has been for the Giants and called him a seminal pillar of the organization, but he cannot rule out trading Bumgarner or any other player. Where we are, everything's got to be on the table as far as how we move this organization forward, Zadie said. In 2019, a short retooling of the Giants. A long-term rebuild, Zadie said he is not thinking in those terms. He said his goal is to make one good baseball move after another and see where the team stands. But he has no desire to tank. Playing out the string when you're totally out of the playoff race, it takes its toll on fans and players, he said. Our goal is to play meaningful baseball deep into the season as soon as we can, Zadie has spoken to manager Bruce Bocce and looks to have a great collaboration, and while Zadie hopes Bocce accepts his input, he made it clear who has the final say in the dugout. It's not my goal to arm chair manage, Zadie said, adding that Bocce has the final say, period. Bocce was not at the news conference. He said via text he was not part of the interview process for Zadie but was eager to collaborate. Asked about working with a metrics-driven executive known for managing the team on the field, Bocce said, I'm all about being the best we can be. I welcome new thoughts and ideas. We have been using analytics, Zadie would like to hire a general manager as quickly as possible, but that might be difficult this deep into the offseason, when teams are more reluctant to let their executives leave. Bear said a new GM could come from among the candidates he interviewed for the president's job. Zadie sees the bullpen as his strength. His main priorities are bolstering the rotation and getting younger, saying he is excited about some of the arms in the minors who could serve both purposes. Meanwhile, Bear addressed the possibility of signing Bryce Harper, without mentioning him by name, saying Zadie will have no restrictions on the moves he pursues, but signing a player of that magnitude would have to make sense in the overall plan for getting the Giants back to contention. Furthermore, the Giants do not plan to be reckless in their spending. Bear also said none of the half-dozen candidates who got first interviews, including Zadie, suggested a total teardown of the club. Nor did any suggest changing the it. Henry Schulman is a San Francisco Chronicle staff writer. Email hshulman at sfchronicle.com Twitter, at Hank Schulman.